But then you fell out with Cat Stevens. Yeah, it wasn't difficult. Um, <laughs> because Steve, here's where I, ha I have to tell this very quickly and tell it against myself as much as for him or against him too. I was probably tough and arrogant at that time. Look, I was by this time a successful record producer. To be a record producer, you have to be a mixture of a nanny, a politician, and a musician, or one of those things. I tried to be all three. I obviously wasn't very good at being a politician because what happened was Steve got his brother involved with him. Blood is thicker than water. I, <laughs> I should have known better. But when his brother started sticking his oar in and saying to me, I want this and I want that for Steve and everything, I'd look at him and I'd just say, that's because he's feathering your nest. He's just bought you a new Mercedes and everything. I said, what do you know about the music business? And I really lost my temper with him. Uh, and of course, I say, blood is thicker than water. Steve ended up siding with his brother or wanting to leave me and leave my company. So we had a court case. Yeah. Yeah. Was, was that difficult for you? That there you'd finally got a, an artist that you'd nurtured and you had two hit singles and then you'd fall out? Yeah, well, we, we had in the lower half of the, the, the top 40, I suppose we have five hits in all and the albums, two albums, New Masters and Matthew and Son. You know, what was going to come after that? I didn't know. He wanted to change direction, Steve. That's the point. He wanted to be something else. I didn't see it. And I was wrong. I was wrong. I freely admit it. He was right. He wanted to go back and delve more into folk music or that approach to pop music on the folkier side. I didn't see that at all. But he was right. Court case was settled out of court. Um, they normally are because you don't want to pay legal fees. Of course. Yeah.